What happens after we die? This age-old question has been the subject of many philosophical debates, religious doctrines, and scientific inquiries. Today, we delve into a recent study that might shed some light on this enigma, offering a glimpse into the mysteries of death and what lies beyond. In December of 2020, 80-year-old Aubrey Osteen had a near-death experience during heart surgery. He reported being conscious, observing his body from above as it was being operated on. He also recounted experiencing the presence of God and a comforting angel before being sent back to life. Near-death experiences like Osteen's have been reported by millions of people since the invention of CPR in 1960. Dr. Sam Parnia, a researcher in the field, conducted a study to measure electrical activity in the brain during cardiac arrest. He found that some patients had spikes in brain activity, even up to an hour into resuscitation. However, only a small percentage of patients in the study reported being aware during CPR and having a near-death experience. The study concluded that the recalled experience of death is real and not a trick of a dying brain. The study's findings have not gone without criticism. Some experts argued that there was no association between brain waves and conscious activity in patients who had near-death experiences. They also pointed out the study's limited sample size. Yet this study is not alone in its findings. Other scientists have observed a similar surge in brain activity in dying patients. In fact, a study found that two out of four comatose patients experienced an increase in gamma waves associated with lucid dreams and hallucinations even after their hearts had stopped. This challenges the belief that the brain dies with the body and suggests that consciousness may persist during the dying process. The lead author of this study aims to gather more data on dying human brains to further understand the human death experience. This discovery could provide insight into near-death experiences and suggests that such experiences are a product of the dying brain. What happens after we die is still largely a mystery. As scientific research continues, we may get closer to understanding this profound human experience. However, for now the question remains, what happens after we die? As we grapple with this question, it is essential to remember that every life and every death is unique. While we may not have all the answers, the pursuit of knowledge continues, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of life, death, and what lies in between.